Okay, what I'm doing right now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm literally showing you this tape recorder. This tape recorder stopped operating correctly about a week and a half, two weeks ago. I've only been able to get it to t turn back on twice, today being one of those days. Now, hold on a second. Now, this morning I was preparing to go move some hiking area, uh, camping. Uh, this morning I was pre uh, preparing to move some hiking gear to another area. So, as a result of getting dressed every day like I do, it was time to put this tape recorder in my pocket because I was getting dressed, okay? I wasn't gonna leave it behind. So I did what I've been doing every morning for the last two weeks, is uh, flipping the battery, trying to boot it up to see if it'll work okay. So far it has done it twice, today being the second time. The first time it did it, I said, great, the tape recorder's running again. So I pressed record, recorded it, for, made an audio file for a little while. That, that occurred like in the last five days, five, six days. Just bear with me, you'll understand why I'm making this video in a second. So, these are two tape recorders of the same make and model. Only one day has it worked in reference to me being able to control the, uh, the buttons and the functions of the buttons. Twice, today being the second time, and it's still recording. Now let's see what's gonna happen. When I go to press stop, okay, uh, right now this uh, tape recorder has got a hold feature, and if you, if you, uh, let me get the flashlight on this, because like, this is an evidence video, so I want to be able to prove to you what I'm talking to you about is true. All right, now you see the, the way, you see right now the front part of what, what it looks like concerning how this, uh, what's on the front of this tape recorder. Now when I press the hold button, that's gonna change and you're not gonna see nothing except for maybe, let me prop this up here, hang on. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do, once I press the hold button, the only thing you should be able to see is hold. Let's see if it works. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute, I got a piece of tape over here. Hold on. I didn't want it to accidentally shut off recording because it was in my pocket as I was preparing to leave once I started recording. I didn't want the whole, I didn't want the whole button to slip back into its uh, into the wrong spot. Alright, so I just took it off. Now I'm still, you can see I'm still using both tape recorders, both are recording. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the hold button. Okay, it's already actually in hold, the hold position. So I'm going to, I took it out and I'm putting it back in now. Now watch. See how it says hold? Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take the hold off and press the stop button. Let's see if it stops recording and if it does, okay, let's see if it won't start recording again. Once, once I hit the stop button, it'll stop recording. If, if that button works, it'll stop the recording. Then if it works, I'll, rec I'll start another recording. Let's see if that don't work. So I'm going to do it right now. Okay, it's not working. You can see me pressing it. And it's not in hold. It's not in the hold position. See, because the hold position is up. See? Hold. Okay. Taking it back down, it's in the middle. Okay. Okay, look. Hold. Okay, when it's at hold, right there. Take it down. It's not in hold position anymore. Okay. Now, as a result, as a result, you're supposed to be able to press the stop key and it should stop recording. I'm doing that right now. Now this is what I did last time when I started working again. Basically what I'm saying is that something is causing this tape recorder to not allow me to use its functions. So to stop the recording, let's see if the pause works. Nope. So the only way to stop the recording, okay, is to take the battery out. Now I'm going to take the battery out, and that will automatically stop it because the power will be off. Okay, so the battery has been taken out. Just took it out with my fingertip, putting it back in, and we're going to see if I can't start recording now. It's booting it back up. Now watch, it's not going to allow me to record again. This is the record button right here on the other side of play, which is the same button as stop. Now watch, I'm pressing the record button right now. No red light. Okay, I'm gonna press the play button. Won't play. 
Now this is the tape recorder that's got four separate events on it that shows SDSU Media uh, Media Center employees lying, okay, right before I was arrested. It also shows verbal me being verbally sexually harassed by two San Diego Sheriff's officers. It also shows a SD a San Diego District Attorney's Office officer calling me mentally ill because I told him that the MTS assault video of me being assaulted was altered by MTS. And what was the fourth one? Uh, there's a, another fourth. Oh, and the fourth one is another audio file of an individual admitting to me and that hidden running tape recorder that was recording that a San Diego police officer put him on a corner on February 20th, 2014 to engage in gang stalking physical gestures. That occurred on the same day I was verbally sexually harassed by the San Diego Sheriff's officers. Now, all of those audio files, okay, every single one of those audio files are on this tape recorder in the built-in memory. Okay, and then as soon as I start looking up lawyers online, okay, the tape recorder stops operating correctly. Okay, now, do organized stalking, gang stalking perpetrators, do they have in their possession technology that they can use in order to control the functions of a target's electronic devices? Google it. All you gotta do is Google it. Okay, that's right, that's right. So, you can see that it powered up, but why, look, look, I'm pressing the play button right now. And it's not in the hold position. Because look, I'll show you, when I, get, when I press this button up right here, okay, I'm gonna turn and watch, watch how the screen will change and it say hold, watch. See, hold, okay, okay. Now I've, now I've brought it back down. Do it again. The whole, you won't be able to see the number anymore. You'll just see a blank and the hole will be at the top. Watch. Hold. Okay. Now, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, if I can't get this warning on any date for any lawyer, I can prove they did this. And I, don't, I, and I transferred the evidence to video files, but the court might try and say, well, you can't use copies. Now, do you really think that these filthy animals don't know how the system operates? Think again. This is just my way of saying, hey, look, something going down in the hood. Got to get.